Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Mokshit. If you didn't subscribe to our channel, please do it now. And all of us know that many people don't have any laptops or uh, personal computers. So I have found a small alternative for them for practicing. It's only working for 70% of whole Python. And I will introduce you now. And before this, you have to subscribe to our channel and like this video and share it to everyone who ever not having any PC or any machine who want to learn Python. So it's the app and you can maintain it on your Android device. So I will show you the the app. First, you have to install it in your Play Store. You have to press the five Droid key, and then it will take some time. I have low network connection. Then you have to install the app, five Droid app. See, this is the app. I have already installed it. So you should also do it, and you have to give it uh, these apps also repository plugin and permission plugin. You can install them, and you have to first install Python 3 IDE for Python 3. You have to, and now I'll show you how to work with that. Go to that app. I'm going Python 3 app. And here you can see many uh, columns like get premium, interpreter, terminal, pip, share, paste bin, sample, get more IDs, settings, terminal settings, privacy policy. And here get premium is the premium model means you have to buy it, you have to purchase it. And I am not doing that one and the next one in the run in the run column you can see the interpreter means it is the python interpreter and the second one is terminal there you can install any packages now I am installing and first of all I say packages are the modules which are written by someone means those are also programs, but they are written by someone else. So, we can also use them. And you have to first install them. If it will be default. If it's installed, I want to install now player. And I will show you our player in the code. See, it will take some time. See, I have already installed that one. So, the requirement always satisfied. It is as it is as the terminal of your PC like that. And uh, in the pip column, you can press this. Here, you can install any libraries or packages. So first we are going to libraries means it will show what are the libraries are with us at present. These, these are the libraries and packages which I had installed and some will come when you will install it. And search libraries. Here you can search any library. I am pressing to search for pi dc yes x3 and i will also say about it in our coming videos see here they give and it will give and they will give a few information uh, to get about the packages here they give about pi dd as actually it's only an introduction to it and text to speech tds means text to speech library for python 2 and python 3 and all of us know that 
Pi down 2 is now unsupported. So, Pi down 3 is the advanced level of Pi down 3. And, we, and our course is on Pi down 3. And, and this P, Pi TDSX3 works without internet connection or delay. Supports multiple DDS engines including Sapify, NSS, and eSpeak. And this Sapify is the speaking module of Microsoft and NSS and eSpeak are, belongs to Ubuntu machine or Linux or Mac OS. And they will give some information like this. And again, when we go to PIP, you can see install. Here you can install any library and you can install it by searching anything again here you can see quickly install means here are some of the libraries like panda skype like learn like this and this is what the column of pipe pip and again go to the column and there you can see share means you can share any your uh, code or this app to anyone paste bin means you, are, you can make any uh, code and you can make it as a library or uh, like that and here you can see samples and I will show few of them and here first you have the basics means here you can see all the uh, basics of you need and here hello world means I had say you said you had before starting our uh, course see it will give hello world I had say you before and uh, like this many samples will be there and now I can press samples there you can see many packages which you can use and I'll show you about um, Pygame. Uh, Pygame is a package which is mostly popularly used for making games. A few games which is played by kids like that. A example for example the flappy bird game like that. Now I'll show you a small example bouncing ball. Here you can extract it and now when you run it it will give you see it's bouncing like a ball did you see it and it's like a GUI and they gave you your plan to purchase like that and you can purchase if you want and here while writing code you have to deflect it then Whatever code will be dismissed means not code, that's file. And uh, and I'll show you. See here, you can do maximum every Python function in this PyDroid phrase. That's why I have recommended you this one. Again, um, they will give some math here. Now I'll show you setting. In setting, you can see columns like editor, appearance, system, code analysis, about and legal. If your wish. And in editor, you can keep all this. I have kept word wrap, tab insert, spaces, allow keyboard suggestion, order complete codes or blesses volume navigation button bar and tab length is equal to four spaces again for appearance of your interpreter now i'll show you here you can select the font i had kept cells and you can keep uh, 20, uh, font size i had kept for 24 and if you wish it's it's on your thinking and editor team here you can see light, dark, monkai, obesian, solarized light, solarized dark etc. and I'll show you 
how to change the light see it will be in the white color and here you can keep uh, monokai means uh, along with that the text color also will be changed see again i am changing it to be dark because i like dark color and dark is the most recommended color for coding means it will look like some uh, big code and it will be so much interesting and the uh, next one i want to show you is terminal setting the same one here means you can use any keys like status bar and whatever in the laptop some of the features of laptop will be in this app functional keys function keys all keys etc and as same as your laptop or pc all those facilities will be available in your this app and uh, here action bar means choose the action bar behavior and you need android 3.0 or up means you need a level means your android should be at the level of android 3.0 or more and and you, it should not be lesser than the 3.0 android system and these are the parts of screen status bar means show or hide status bar screen orientation so this screen orientation behavior means it will be like landscape or automatic or portrait but i am keeping landscape only it's your wish you can uh, change it font size as same as in the peter has said you i had configured uh, that need to and color means uh, black text on white means uh, black text on white means it will be on the color of the terminal will be black i mean white and the text on it will be in the black text black color and you can do like this many things and i am keeping now red text on black means on black color it will be in the red text see we had changed and i am keeping like this now i'll show you and i'll run it and in this app they will contain some ads so don't worry about it now had i had got a ad on it so it like that and you can also take it and here you can do all the numbers everything if you want you can try this app and i recommend this app and in play store there are many apps like this like q python python q like this. uh offline python you can use all of them and now i'll show you the next one i can go to this bar and press get more ideas it will take us to the play store and it will show other ideas made by this company and those other ideas are pyroid tree idea for python tree cx exploit made for c++ ide for mobile development jv droid ide for java and pydroid repository plugin pydroid pagination plugin again on java jv droid pro means you have to purchase them like uh, it's also ide but the better one means you'll get all the features and i'll show you another one means which is hard to buy if you use a premium you can see all this see i will show you some 
Mm, I mean, packages. First, go to pick and find. Uh, go to search libraries and press TensorFlow. Otherwise, go to quick search. See here, you can see TensorFlow. And TensorFlow is the mostly used for machine learning algorithms. And I will also make a code on it. And this is an OpenCV PyTorch. These are the premium libraries, and uh, you can get more. Uh, facilities then the present when you just get get the premium you can see all the um, facilities you get in basic code editor means like printing hello world all the basic code you can do in premium and free also and basic libraries like uh, max and I'll show you how to run with run with that in my upcoming videos on this playlist and and here you can see premium library means like uh, before i have showed you tensorflow but they are not available for free and code prediction means they'll give some means if you don't like this the output will be in uh, another manner they'll show what will be the output if you do done like this like that for how many seconds and code analysis means it will do is that code wrong otherwise it will show all the related matching students and details to them and no ads means uh, now I am using free so I had got many ads um, so in premium you will not get them and my next one I'll show you insert means go to pick and in search libraries if you type anything like means if I press in the first you have to go to pick and in that go to search libraries block and if you press Javis and search it will take loading and for this for some time you need uh, for searching or installing any libraries or running them you need network and see I have got many such type of uh, such type of related packages and like this the full app works and it's very useful for, for the people who are not having any or laptops or machines and any people can use them who want to learn Python free and in this course you have to use uh, Visual Studio Code otherwise you can also install Python or this one but the all the features which you have in the Visual Studio Code won't be in this spider like snippets means giving hints like that. And if you have any doubts, give me in the comment section. And if you didn't access my Python playlist, please do it now. And thank you for watching and enjoy this video. And please subscribe our channel. And don't forget to like this video and share it to your friends. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.